We have nearly four minutes remaining in this competition. The table enders now not even in focus because the entire world, the entire free world, is focused on these two men. There he is, Pat Bertoletti with 39. Still has three minutes to go. Bertoletti, as I said, is dedicating this contest to Nicky Hilton because he told me he feels as though Nicky lives in the shadow of Paris and he indeed lives in the shadow of Joey. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be able to get Paris Hilton into this show. How can I was you not? not. <laughs> Chestnut 53, Kobayashi now goes to 52. Kobayashi just slowly closing in on Chestnut. Okay, so we are nearing the three minute mark. Joey, just a dog above, and Kobayashi now bringing it in the final quarter. And, and there we go, Chestnut has a new record for Nathan's. He broke the old one set by Kobayashi, 53 and three quarters as he goes through 54. Since 1916, a hot dog contest has occurred on this corner. Never before has this crowd or any crowd seen 54 dogs eaten, and that happened in they just go nine over minutes. the 92 competitions. The first contest, the record was 13. Look at what they're doing now. Chestnut is still out in front. They're two and a half minutes to go. Kobayashi pulls even with Chestnut. It is unbelievable. Absolute dog fight, cheek to jowl. Look at the jowl movement on Joey Chestnut. That's a jowl movement, not dissimilar to what you see from Cookie Jarvis back in the day. Only about twice as many hot dogs that Cookie could eat and all the greats like Badlands back in the day. Peter X still bringing it with that face paint. What a valiant effort. Kobayashi is giving it here. He's still behind, but just by a fraction of a dog. Unbelievable. Will Chestnut go home the victor? This crowd will erupt if the mustard yellow belt gets risen above his head. Just under two minutes to go, and we send you down to Jimmy in the spray zone. Hey, Paul, Joey Chestnut knows exactly where Kobayashi is as he's eating those hot dogs. He has one eye on Kobayashi's count. Kobayashi focused on his interpreter, depending on him to tell him where Joey Chestnut is. It's a cheek-to-cheek, jaw-to-jaw finish, guys. Less than half a dog difference between Chestnut and Kobayashi now. Well, it will. It may go down to the judges if it stays this tight. Now, we have the best judges from Major League Eating. In fact, every eater has two counters to keep an eye on these totals. There's that much at stake. Heinz Ketchup is here. Nathan's Famous sponsoring this for the 92nd year. $20,000 on the line and worldwide celebrity acclaim just 1 minute 16 seconds away. Well, Chestnut's remaining about three quarters of a dog ahead as we move toward the last minute of competition. 12 minutes. They're approaching the record now. Is Chestnut going to break the world record as Kobayashi goes in front? Here comes Chestnut. Joey, Chestnut closes on him. Joey has broken his own record, and, and Kobayashi's right there with him. We never would have expected this. This is going to be a 61. close call. Chestnut comes back into the lead. Kobayashi falls to second. They're both now well oh, over the Kobayashi record. Kobayashi pausing now. Kobayashi seconds. pausing now. 39 seconds remain. This would be the greatest moment in the history of American sports if Chestnut can bring the belt home to Coney Island. It's been gone for nine years. Chestnut scores up to 62. Kobayashi at 61. 20 seconds to go. Oh, come on, Joey now. The fans want you. Kobayashi brought it today. Unbelievable valor from this man. And now here is the countdown to the championship. It's neck and neck. Oh, and we got a photo finish. That could no. have been a DQ. That's a Kobayashi reversal within the framework of the competition. I'm afraid the judges are going to call that. That is up to the judges. We have two judges, and that. Paul is the spray zone. Unbelievable valor from that man right there, Joey Chestnut. He may indeed have changed the course of this nation, righted the course <laughs> of our nation. Chestnut is a true American hero. Well, on this Independence Day, we're actually not far from where George Washington began to fight the British, went across the river and into Manhattan, and then they chased him down to Philadelphia. But now, I don't know what the call is. What's in your mouth at the end of the competition does count. However, the reversal. there may indeed have been a reversal. It's a judge's decision. But it looks like, according to the judges, we're listening. We're going to go and take a look at the end of competition here. Oh, boy. And I think here it comes. 
It was, inc oh, that's off-putting. And I gotta say, that's gonna cost him right there. If they don't full-on DQ him, they're gonna deduct for those hot dogs. So, what will the final decision be? The judges are looking at the tape. They've asked for it yet again. Is Kobayashi finally defeated? Is Joey Chestnut the winner? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen of Brooklyn and the world. In second place with 63 hot dogs and buns, Takeru Kobayashi. Chestnut has done it. However, in first place, in first place with 66 hot dogs and buns, Joey Chestnut! Kobayashi is down. Chestnut is the new champion, Jimmy. Joey, to win this competition in your home nation, how does it make you feel to hold up that flag? Oh, it feels great. Uh, this uh, town's been held by Kobayashi for six years. It's about time it comes back to the, uh, to America on the 4th of July. How did it affect you when you knew that Kobayashi was on your right and he didn't bow to this competition, even with a questionable jaw? How did that motivate you? I, d I knew going to this contest he was going to give it 100%, so I had to come in, just put hard, push harder than the human body could take the handle and just uh, make my body work for me. What's your next uh, plan to eat an, another hot dog? If I need to eat another one right now, I could. <laughs> hey, enjoy the moment. Paul? Thanks, Jimmy. The mustard belt is back in America. Here's the final results of their official. Unbelievable. You see that extra three there. It's like finding an extra $1,000 in your bank account for Joey Chestnut. Uh, it's just an emotional win.